Go to PluginBoutique.com anytime this September and get two free VST plugins with any purchase. Both Trash 2 by Isotope and Carbon by UJAM will be automatically added to your cart at checkout. Visit PluginBoutique.com today. Hey, what's up, everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique, and it's time for another one of our monthly giveaways. This month, we're not giving you one, but two VSD plugins. One is an instrument, one is a kind of like a multi-effect with a focus on saturation, and that being Carbon, the virtual guitarist instrument from UJAM. It's like an electric guitar, really, really heavy, sounds awesome. And then Trash 2, saturation distortion slash multi-effect from Isotope. Both of those come bundled together free with any purchase from our website for the entire month of September. So click the first link in the video description to check out full details about that. And just to keep things rolling, there are gonna be two videos. This first one where we check out Virtual Guitarist and how I used it inside of the demo project. And then in the next one, we're gonna focus on Trash 2. I used it throughout the demo project and it really transformed the sound. So if you're looking for that information that's in a separate video, these both should be published at the same time definitely check it out. So let's jump into how I used Carbon inside of this demo project. Now, Carbon comes kind of two flavors inside of here and they're the main taps. There's the player and the instrument. The instrument you're gonna play just like any other instrument, any other VSTI that you have in your DAW. And the player has a set bunch of style phrases and then a bunch of common phrases, which are if you trigger this key using key switching and then play a note, it will actually strum in a particular way. There are a ton of different styles. You can come in here and these are all the different styles that you have. There are a ton of different presets. Presets change the style and all of the effects down here at the bottom of the UI. And then these just change the style, but keep everything else here. So if you like the way your guitar sounds, but wanna change up the style, you do it over here. Now I've already done a video tutorial on that and all of this information down here at the bottom. So I'm not gonna cover that here. I'll leave a link to it in the video description if you're looking to check that out. In this particular project, what I did was just use some MIDI and use the instrument. Now it gets a little bit more in depth than just that, but if I go ahead and solo this, this is what I came up with. <laughs> All right, so what this is, if I come into the MIDI clip and fold it down so we can see, we have G2 and above are the actual notes that are gonna be playing and triggering sound from the instrument. And then the C2, A1, and G1 are actually changing the articulations over here. And the C2 is a longer articulation, and then the G1 is a lot shorter. So it's like, boom, ba 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 And you can actually see that happening and hear it as well. All right, now if I got rid of this and just pulled this all the way over, we'd get really short ones. we get really short ones throughout. So you can hear the difference there, and it sounds really great either way. I just wanted to add some variation. And that's what I came up with. So that's how that works. You can see here the different note values, and we can go up to even quicker or longer ones. There are some legato options. There are some different shredding keys as well. And you wanna do that right inside of your MIDI clip or with your keyboard when you're playing, if you're using your MIDI keyboard. You can also select your key range over here if you're gonna be playing in a scale and you wanna make sure you stick inside of it. Carbon will push or pull your notes into the correct scale if you designate it over here. I didn't need to do that. This MIDI is already good to go, so I didn't worry about it. Inside of Ableton Live, you can also see some of the different automations I have. This is all done for Carbon itself, except for this last one where I added the reverb send just to add a little bit of roominess for kind of the breakdown. And that's all that is. But for the other things we're doing here, I've got a filter for the end of the breakdown where it kind of sweeps up. The filter is right here inside of Carbon and you can go 
And what I did here was just used automation to kind of sweep it up to give a sort of audio cue that the drop, if you will, or the next section of the piece of music was coming in. Very subtle, but very noticeable. Severity. This is going to kind of go in conjunction with the condition. We have five different conditions of how the amp is going to sound. And let me come into the, the first part, actually. So they all sound pretty uh, raunchy. I really dig them all, but I just kind of went with Disturb for this one with a severity of 666, which is all the way open. So that really transforms the sound. And then what I did for the kind of breakdown part, if I go ahead and I went to the insane condition and a severity right around the midway point. So it's just to kind of change up the guitar and change up the feeling. It actually switches keys there. So it's just trying to kind of showcase the versatility of the instrument when using it as I am inside of this project. Now, I also played with the distance here, too. I wanted it to feel a little bit closer for the breakdown and a little bit further back and wider for the kind of aggro part. One of the things that I really like about Carbon is the single, double, triple, or quadro format over here. So let me go ahead. And So it really opens it up and makes it sound really, really big. And not only that, but then once you start playing with the distance, you can push it back or pull it like right up in your face. And you can also bring them closer together or make them really wide. And then separation. So you have a lot of control over your virtual stage, which is kind of graphically shown right here on the middle. So I really spread them out and brought it right up close. And that's pretty much all there is to it. There is this finisher, which is a multi-effect. If you click right here, these are all the different multi-effects you get. You get a ton of them. These were handcrafted by the people at UJAM to, for, specifically for this type of guitar. So they're all going to sound great and unique. And they range from what I'm using here, which is like a cabinet emulator, all the way up to really experimental and sound design type stuff that would just get really crazy. But again, always sound awesome as long as you're using them right. The way this works is you can either select it in here or you can use this to switch through or you can use these arrows as well. And then you have a minimum maximum value for that. Let's check out like... Um Really, really great and unique effects can be found in there. But like I said, for this particular project, I was just using one of the cabinets. There are five different ones and I had it up around halfway. Also, the finisher amount is usually automatically routed to the modulation wheel on your keyboard if you're using one. So that's very, very helpful. And that's all there is to it. And as I already said, Carbon also has a really great player feature, which I've already covered in depth in a different video. So if you're looking to check that out, definitely click the link in the video description. But other than that, I just wanted to show you how I used it personally inside of this demo project for this giveaway. Anyway, I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.